Hey everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to bring back automatic updates in Windows 2000. Let's get right into the video. Now before we begin, you need to make sure you have Service Pack 4 installed and Internet Explorer 6 are installed. If you want to figure out what Service Pack you have installed, or even if you're running the RTM version, simply press the Windows key and R to open the run command here and type winver. You can see here, beside the version 5.0, you can see I have Service Pack 4 already installed. This ISO is the Service Pack 4 version of Windows 2000, but yours may not be that. It could be Service Pack 3, SP2, SP1, or nothing, which is the RTM version. If you want to upgrade, go to the folder listed in the description below, open the Windows 2000 Service Pack 4 if not installed folder, and just run this exe file and do the same if you don't have internet explorer 6 installed so the first thing we need to do is download the folder in the description below open it up and we need to run well open the windows update agent folder and run the windows update agent 30-x86 double click it and you'll see the window pop up simply click next click i agree in the license terms click next and you'll need to wait a little bit. It shouldn't take too long. It'll just say updating registry. And there we go. It says you've successfully installed the Windows Update Agent. Now you might need to restart. For this example, I will because sometimes you won't get, sometimes you'll get the message to reboot. Other times you won't. But it's always recommended to do a reboot. So that's what I'll do quickly. And I'll be back in just a moment. All right, now that we've done a reboot, we're going to open up the folder, double click on the root certificate folder, and run the root SUPD file. It'll say installed revoke slash root update April 2016, which is good. So we're going to exit out of the folder. And lastly, we need to double click the WSUS registry file folder. Double click on the registry file. It'll say, are you sure you want to add basically this registry info? Click yes. Click OK. And reboot your computer one more time. It's always recommended to do it just to make sure the registry file works. And there we go, we've ran all the files, we've installed them as well. And the last thing we need to do is press the Windows key and the letter R to open the run command. And we need to type WUAUCLT slash detect now. Hit enter and you should see the Windows icon pop up in the right hand, bottom right hand corner. It may take a little bit, just have some patience, but it shouldn't take too long. And there we go. We get the Windows icon there with the Earth, which is the Windows Update icon. And it says, keep your computer up to date. And this, basically, this means it works. So we're going to click More Options. And we're going to select the option that says, notify me, but don't automatically download or install them. So what happens now is it'll give us the pop-up. It won't automatically download them. So we'll have to click the icon and select the updates we want to install. So you can you can have it so it automatically installs it, but for this video tutorial and what's recommended is to make it so you can choose what updates to install and download them, not automatically do them. And there we go. It's detected updates. We just need to click the icon right here. And you can see all of these updates are visible. Now please note that these are not all the updates. These are basically prerequisite updates. Not necessarily, but you'll have to do the WAUCLT command a few more times after this, so you'll get all the updates. I'd say you have to do this about four times. For me, I have to do it around six, but it's different for everyone. So all you need to do is just check through, make sure everything's uh, highlighted or checked on the side, and click download. If you hover your mouse on top of the Windows Update icon, you can see the percentage of the, down the updates it's downloading. And there we go, it's finished downloading the updates, and we just need to click the Windows Update icon here. And we're not going to select Express Install Recommended, we're going to select Custom Install Advanced. So click the circle right there to highlight it, and then click Next. It's better to take one quick look through in the updates to make sure they're all selected. You can triple check if you would like. And we just need to click Install.
and there we go all the updates have finished and what we need to do to apply the updates is simply click restart now and there we go we've brought back automatic updates in windows 2000 if you'd like to get the rest of the updates all you need to do is click the windows key and r to open the run command and you need to type wuaucLT forward slash detect now and just hit enter wait a little bit wait for the icon to show up and just keep doing the steps on over and over until all the updates are installed so thanks for watching this video i hope to help you out if it did please make sure to subscribe to the channel like our videos and let us know down in the comments if this video helped you out thanks for watching and hope you have a wonderful day